Tesla is showing very important signs that it is about to start the deliveries of Tesla Semi within the next few months. We know that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has said that Tesla Semi will be delivered by the end of the year and there are specific signs that we need to see before that what we have seen in before when Tesla was getting ready to deliver the Model Y and we are seeing that signs. Those are the frequent sightings of Tesla Semi which we're seeing the updated prototype sightings which are becoming now very common if you remember prior to customer deliveries of a new vehicle tesla tends to test an increasing number of prototypes on public roads now we're seeing that tesla is testing increasing number of tesla semis on public roads driving or hauling and so on welcome back everyone this is armin harian from talknews.com please like this video if you find the inf information that i'm about to share with you interesting now tesla has an interesting um, pro, uh, paradigm. Prior to customer deliveries of a new electric vehicle from Tesla, Tesla tends to test an increasing number of prototypes on public roads. Um, this was the case, for example, when the Model Y, uh, the case with the Model Y, uh, prior to its release date. And now this seems to be the case with the Tesla Semi as well. I remember when Tesla Model Y was about to be released, we even saw Model otherwise driving in San Francisco we have seen them driving in California without any camouflage but you know now it seems that it's the case with Tesla semi as well uh, as per recent observations from the electric vehicle and Tesla communities Tesla semi sightings seem to be getting more and more common and this makes very good sense because Tesla wants to test them Tesla wants to make sure that Tesla delivers great quality semi trucks because semi trucks are going to uh, semi trucks going to electric is going to be such an important news and is going to change the environment and the tracking in industry in a tremendous way. So just recently, for example, electric vehicle advocate Shoaib Kwairishi posted this short video of a Tesla Semi sighting that features three of the vehicles in one location. As could be seen in the video, two of the Tesla Semi trucks were pulling trailers behind them while one was um, bobtailing. All three Tesla Semi trucks were updated prototypes and looked ready for production. The reason I say updated because as you know I've reported that recently we saw that Tesla changed its semi gallery on its website. All of the pictures making new and uh, changing, updating all of them that you're seeing on your screen and also providing two videos. One of the interior where we reported the changes what Tesla has changed in the interior of the semi and one about the exterior as Tesla semi uh, pulls to the mega charge which is going to be another sign I'm going to talk about, uh, mega chargers in order to charge. Like I said, the other charges, uh, uh, sign for Tesla Semi's imminent deliveries are going to be mega chargers. We need to hear more about mega chargers. We need to hear more about governments or cities giving permits for mega charger construction, mega charger buildings in order for me to see Tesla Semi is becoming more and more popular. But the first steps are already there. Friends, unveiled in late 2000, 2017, the semi has, I mean, Tesla semi has been a long time coming. The all electric class 8 truck was initially expected uh, to enter production sometimes in 2019, but the vehicle ended up being delayed. Despite this, the truck never really stopped road tests unless last year updated semi-prototypes started being spotted across the United States. We have even seen in Alaska, right, or Canada in cold uh, testing. And cold is very important, cold testing, because uh, you, you need to know how much uh, power you will lose and how much range you will lose when driving in cold areas. Now, Elon Musk has noted as of late that the class 8 all electric semi trucks 500 mile variant would be shipping later this year by the end of 2022 and that's great news for this Tesla needs more batteries and Tesla is actively working on this I think they're hoping that the uh, Gigafactory Austin's 4680 battery production will be ready recently a couple of days ago I announced that Tesla is building battery materials it is going to build uh, applied for permit to build battery equipment in the second floor of the Fremont factory so we see that Tesla is making really serious efforts 
to prepare lots of batteries, not only for its Model Y and Model 3 mass production cars, but also its semi and hopefully by the side for the Cybertruck by the end of, uh, early next week, ne next year. Now, this was quite a pleasant surprise, the announcement of the 500 mile variant of Tesla semi. This was a quite a pleasant surprise because prior to this, Elon Musk had been pretty conservative uh, with, uh, with his Tesla semi estimates, simply noting that the truck would enter production next year. Now we see that there has been an update, the wait time is going to be shorter and Tesla semi is coming early this year. Sorry, later this year. Apart from Tesla semi sightings, the electric vehicle maker has also been busy updating the vehicle's official page, as I said. Tesla semi's uh, gallery page on Tesla's official site now shows updated specs and a revamped interior that looks production ready. It also includes some features that have not been teased before, such as a stultless model SS steering wheel with apparent touch sensitive turn signals. Tesla has also been building out of the semi's mega charger, which I said it's going to be the second important sign to see mega chargers being built so these Tesla semis can charge as they hold things around. And uh, uh, so uh, first in Gigafactory, these mega chargers are being built first in Gigafactory in Nevada, which makes great sense because I think Tesla will be its first major customers hauling lots of equipment batteries from Gigafactory in Nevada to uh, Fremont Factory and from Gigafactory in Nevada to Austin in Texas. And later, Tesla will build a mega charger or has built already mega charger in a customer location like PepsiCo's Modesto, California site. Overall, it is starting to seem like Tesla Semi is just around the corner. Tesla may just be quite silent about it, but it's coming. Well, since it's coming, let me know please in the comment section, why do you think the Semi is going to be so important for the trucking industry and for the environment and for cutting the gas and oil um, uh, share in the market? I am pretty much very much excited about the coming of Tesla Semi, perhaps more than the Model Y or Model 3, because this is going to save a lot of gas and this is going to clean the environment a lot. Although there are uh, already talks in the battery industry, as I reported this morning in China, to make the battery production more environmentally friendly as well. So what do you think Tesla Semi is coming and spreading will change in the environment and in the trucking industry. In the meantime, like I said, Tesla is ramping up hiring for its semi service program, as I reported a couple of days ago, to service its upcoming Tesla semi's electric truck ahead of the first customer deliveries. After years of delay, Elon Musk finally announced the Tesla semi, as I said, Tesla has been using an electric trucks in its own fleet for a while now, but the automaker is expected to start delivering some units to customers. Last year, electric reported that Tesla was looking to hire its first service technicians for Tesla Semi. The automaker was establishing what it called its Semi service program for the electric truck. And then we later learned that Tesla was looking to take its mobile service strategy, which has proved popular with Tesla owners, and apply it to its semi service program. Imagine you have a Tesla semi, mobile service people, technicians will come where you are, where the customers are and start uh, fixing whatever needs to be fixed. So with, as deliveries are expected uh, very soon, a um, couple of days ago, Electric spotted some new job openings that Tesla posted for service technicians for Tesla semi. Tesla wrote in the listing like this, we are looking for experienced service technicians to support the growth of the semi service program. Then the automaker added that those new technicians will be the first to service the Tesla semi trucks for customers. And um, I, I said that, you know, Tesla was looking for those te uh, service uh, technicians in the following locations, Fremont, California, Sacramento, California, Modesto, California, so that's for probably PepsiCo, Central Valley, California, and Reno, Nevada, which is probably where Tesla needs service technician in order to service cars in, near the Gigafactory one. Now, this gives up a good idea where Tesla's first plans to deliver its electric semi trucks. Tesla lists uh, the uh, task that the technicians are going to be expected to do, like work alongside engineering and development teams to provide direct product feedback, be part of the first semi service technicians in the field, support the Tesla semi fleet and so on. 
very exciting developments about Tesla Semi. Friends, this is one segment, I mean Tesla Semi, is one segment where a new vehicle type will have an outsized effort to reduce oil usage. This is why I said I was very excited about this. Semis use a lot of diesel and they move most, uh, most of the products we consume. Tesla Semi is the most important product Tesla makes in terms of environmental impact. It's a very important part of the puzzle. Sure, cars are nice and all, but it, does, it doesn't move the demand needle for our semis that the semis will. Now, like I said, this is very exciting. I'm guessing that the Tesla semis will Will be used to transport 4680 battery cells from Fremont to Reno, actually from Reno to Fremont where the semi is, or from Fremont to Reno, where the semi is going to be made and transport 2170 cells from Reno ah, back to Fremont where the Model S, Model 3 and Model X are made. We will have to see if this is so. Also, this should also uh, allow Tesla to work on platooning and leverage the great strides that uh, that have already been made with full self-driving. Exciting. Let me know your thoughts, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Please like this video. That helps us tremendously. You will help it to put it in front of more people who may help to speed up the transition to electric vehicles. Subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news, like uh, uh, ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla coverage because I have a couple of important stories bringing to you later today. God bless you. Peace be with all of you. See you soon in our next report.